Hi guys, welcome to Solution Domain. This is Vikram here. In the previous video, we have used this JavaScript function, right? Today, in this video, I'm going to explain this JavaScript uh, function code. Without wasting much time, let's get started. Here, I have written function, function name. Function name is copy mobile number and I'm passing execution context as a first parameter. What is execution context? Execution context is used to get the form context to your JavaScript method, which will then be used to retrieve the form fields. Execution, execution context is used to retrieve the form fields. Next, I have taken, I have written where, where is a variable data type and form context is a variable name equals execution context dot get form context then what is the difference between form context and get form context form context will provide the reference whereas get form context will return the reference the major difference between form context and get form context is form context will provide the reference get form context will return the reference next i am using where and account name id is a variable i have written form context dot get attribute uh, schema name dot get value here form context form context means it provides the reference to the form by using get attribute and the schema name we are getting the value of this field parent customer id is the schema name of our account name lookup field okay did you get it form context means it it provides a reference to the form and by using get attribute schema name we are getting the value of this field and we are storing it in this account name id variable here i am using if condition if account name id not equals to null meaning if account name id contains data then we are going inside the if condition uh, i have taken another variable called id uh, equal and i am assigning account name id of zero dot id uh, here account name id is a lookup field that you need to keep in mind okay uh, you did not get this zero dot id right to show you this to make you better understand i am using advanced find in advanced find i have given contacts entity i have taken the contacts entity and company name equals a datum corporation and i am going to click on this download fetch xml uh, and i am going to save it on my desktop okay i, I will open this and i am going to minimize the advanced find uh, here you can see that you see this is the parent customer id is nothing but our account name id right uh, here uh, our lookup has our lookup has three values three things that is value and ui type and ui name uh, we don't need this ui name and ui type uh, we only want this value which is nothing but our id this id has uh, opening and closing brackets before we pass this id to web api we need to remove these opening and closing brackets for that purpose uh, we are using this replace method to remove the opening and closing flower bracket and we are storing only the id without flower brackets in this id one and we are passing this to web api here i have used crm rest builder code that is xrm.webapi.online.retrieve record before going to this line let us understand this it says that xrm.webapi.retrieve record contains entity logical name id options dot then success callback comma error callback here entity logical name means the table logical name of the record you want to retrieve for example account and id means it is the GUID table record you want to retrieve. GUID is graphic user ID. And for options, options means uh, OData system query options. You can use dollar $select and dollar $expand to retrieve your data. Then 
uh, why do we use dollar select use the dollar select system query option to limit the properties written by including a comma separated list of property names this is an important performance best practice if properties aren't specified using dollar select all properties will be returned here we have specified uh, property right dollar select telephone one is one property if we don't specify all properties will return and after that we have one more line that it says that xrm dot web api dot online dot retrieve record uh, logical uh, logical entity logical name is account id is dummy id one two three four five six and in options we have dollar select name comma telephone we are fetching two values two two field values by using dollar select we are getting two field values by using dollar select that is name and telephone one in this example but in this code we are only fetching the telephone value by using dollar select uh, then dot then function success result here we have seen that uh, it is a success callback next we will see the success callback uh, here you can see that function success result here the result is an object of success function got it result is an object of success function this result object contains the value telephone one and we are assigning this result object value telephone one to another variable called telephone one and and we are using this form context dot get attribute dot mobile phone mobile phone is the uh, field in contacts entity got it here in this line we are fetching the telephone one value by using dollar select from the account entity and we are setting that telephone one value to this mobile phone field of contact entity i hope you understood if this success function fails the the control will come to this function error and this xrm dot utility dot alert dialog error dot message will execute i hope and believe that you have learned or you have understood something from this video thanks for watching